Hey everyone, today we are looking at the interior angles of triangles. We are going to answer what do the three interior angles of a triangle sum to, and how can I use this to solve for missing angle measurements? So in case you forgot the three interior angles of a triangle, always sum or add to 180 degrees. There's a picture over here to remind you. So the three inside angles, we can add them together and they will always equal 180 degrees. We can use this fact to determine missing angle measures by adding the given angles and setting them equal to 180. So let's try that on number one. I need to find the value of x. And I know that 36 plus 108 plus x is going to equal 180. So let's go ahead and set up that equation. 36 plus 108 plus x equals 180. 80. Okay, now I need to solve this equation for x. Obviously, I can simplify it by combining like terms, and 36 plus 108 is 144. So my new simplified equation is 144 plus x equals 180. Now this is a one-step equation, and the only other thing I need to do to solve for x is subtract 144. And x is 180 minus 144. So x is 36. I can double check it by adding the three angles together and checking that it equals 180 degrees. So 36 plus 36 plus 108 equals 180, so we did that correctly. All right, number two, same thing. I need to find the value of x. I know that these three angles added together equal 180, so I'm going to set up an equation for that. 80 plus 50 plus x equals 180. And then I'm going to combine 80 and 50, and 80 plus 50 is 130. So my new equation is 130 plus x equals 180. And then I'm going to subtract 130. And that means that x is 50 degrees. So this is 50, and I can double check by adding them together and seeing if they equal 180. 50 plus 50 plus 80 is 180, so I must have done that correctly. Okay, number three, again, I'm finding the value of x. This angle is 56. This one right here is 90. Remember, that means 90 degree right angle. And then obviously we have x. So let's add them together. 90 plus 56 plus x equals 180. And 90 plus 56 is 146. So I'm going to subtract 146. And x will be whatever 180 minus 146 is, which is 34. So x is 34, and I'm going to double check it by adding them together. 56 plus 90 plus 34 is 180, so I did this correctly. Okay, number four, same thing. I need to add the three angles together. So it'll be x plus 71 plus 37 equals 180. And then I'm going to combine 71 and 37. And 71 plus 37 is 108. And then I need to subtract 108. And x will be whatever 180 minus 108 is, which is 72. And I can double check it by adding them together and see if they equal 180. So 71 plus 72 plus 
37 is 180, so I must have done it correctly. Okay, number five, I have some expressions for my angle measures instead of just numbers or constants. So it's gonna be the same process. I just add the three angles together and I set them equal to 180. The process to solve the equation is just gonna be a little bit different this time. So I'm gonna add them together, 5x plus 7x plus 3x equals 180. And these are all like terms since they all have an X on it. So five plus seven plus 13 is 15. So the simplified version of this equation is 15 X equals 180. And then my last step is to divide by 15. So X will be whatever 180 divided by 15 is, which is 12. So I found the value of x, it is 12. This time that's all they asked for. I don't have to plug back in to find the angle measures yet. Okay, number six, same thing. I have some expressions and then this angle is 90 degrees since it's a right angle. Still the same process, I'm going to add everything together and set it equal to 180 degrees. So 90 doesn't have anything to combine with and 3x plus 3x combines to make 6x and it equals 180. Next thing to do to find x is subtract 90 and I get 6x equals 90 and then I divide by 6. So x is whatever 90 divided by 6 is, which is 15. So the value of X is 15. Okay, these last two are the same type of problems, but after I find X, I'm going to have to plug it back in to each of the expressions to find the angle measures. So let's start with the same process to find X. I'm gonna add everything together and set it equal to 180. So 5X plus 24 plus 4x plus 4x equals 180. Okay, now I need to simplify this equation. So 5x plus 4x plus 4x, those will combine to create 13x. And then the 24 doesn't have anything to combine with, so I bring it down. And it equals 180. Okay, now I'm going to subtract 24 and I get 13x equals 180 minus 24, which is 156. And then I divide by 13 and 156 divided by 13 is 12. So I found the value of X, it is 12. And now I can use that to find my angle measures. I actually am only gonna have to plug into two expressions here. This top expression is five X plus 24, but the other two are the same. So I'll just have to do that once. Let's start with the top one. I need to plug in X is 12 into five X plus 24. So that's angle G, do it over here. Plugging into 5x plus 24. So 5 times 12 plus 24. I'm just going to put that in the calculator. Is 84. So the measure of angle G is 84. Okay, and then H and J are both 4x. So I'll do that right here. So those angles will just be whatever four times 12 is, which is 48. So now I have my three angle measures and I can double check that I did this correctly by adding them together and I should get 180, which I do. So I did this correctly. All right, last one is gonna be the same process. I need to add the three angles together, set them equal to 180 find X and then I'll find my angle measures. 
So obviously this is 90, it's a right angle, so it's gonna be 90 plus 4x plus 5x equals 180. So 90 plus 4x plus 5x is 9x equals 180. So I'm gonna subtract 90 from both sides and I get 9x equals 90 and then I divide by 9 and I get that x equals 10. So the value of x is 10. Okay, now I need to find my angle measures. They already gave me angle r. It was a right angle, so angle r is 90 degrees. Now I need to find q, which was 4x, and s, which is 5x. So I'm just gonna plug in 10 for x. So let's start with q. Q is 4x, which is 4 times 10, and 4 times 10 is 40. Okay, and then angle S was 5x, so it's going to be 5 times 10, and 5 times 10 is 50. Okay, and I'm just going to double check that these equal 180. 40 plus 90 plus 50 is equal to 180, so I did this correctly.